What organization are you representing here at the NAM show? At NAM, I am representing the Flying Musicians Association. Is that a band? No, it's a nationwide nonprofit organization of pilot musicians slash musician pilots that uh, we fundraise, we have a great scholarship program, we get together, social events. It's um, a fantastic organization. Are they pilots? We are all pilots, either professional or non-professional. Now let me see if I understand. You, what instrument do you play? I play harp. And what are the skills involved in flying that's similar to the, those of musicians? So, the, the, uh, we've determined that there are, there are a lot of similar skills with flying and playing, playing music, playing an instrument. So when you think of playing an instrument, um, you think of like fine motor skills, coordination, listening, um, multitasking, you know, reading music, maybe looking at a conductor, all of those things, uh, they correlate very well with the skills needed for a pilot. Uh, to fly a plane, you need all those similar skills, and it's been found, it's been determined, and, and it's also been proved in studies done by the Air Force and other organizations that that we that um, musicians make very fine pilots because the skills are very similar. Uh, how do the uh, motor skills of playing an instrument help you with the engine of an airplane? <laughs> well, for me personally, I play the harp, so I use my hands and my feet. And with the harp, we have seven pedals. Actually, in an airplane, we only have two, so it was a little easier transition for me to transition from a harp to an airplane. Uh, but the listening and and learning all the instrumentation and, and coordination was, was came very naturally. So the NAM show performances are largely rock and roll. And uh, you know, in metal, they don't use a lot of chords or finger picking. What's your perspective on the musicianship needed for rock and roll compared to uh, classical music? Well, the musicianship for rock and roll, of course, for me personally, is a, is a lot different. I mean, I'm a strictly classical musician, orchestral. Uh, I read the notes on the page. I'm told what to play, when to play, how to play it, which is kind of like when you're flying through air traffic control. You know, you listen to the ATC guy. They tell you where to fly, what altitude. It's kind of the same in orchestra. With rock and roll, there's a little bit more freedom. Um, maybe less of the the complex harmonies, but it's 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 a complete it's a different different game. So it's it it all translates well for me. But um, and how about uh, living in Salt Lake? Is it a, is it a big uh, uh, hip hop or uh, grunge town? Actually, Salt Lake City now is a big. Mu there's a big music scene. Obviously, right now with Nam going on here, it was actually very easy for me to fly out here because everyone from LA is going to Salt Lake for Sundance, the Sundance Film Festival, and um, and so there's a very lively art scene in Salt Lake. Uh, the music scene is very vibrant. There's a lot of rock and roll. There's a lot of punk. There's a lot of all sorts of genres of music going on and um, and it, it, it's very inspiring for me to live in such a city that has such a diverse music scene. As a classical musician, a symphonic musician, uh, what struck you about seeing the attendees here at the NAMM show in terms of appearance? Well, it's a little different from Salt Lake. But actually, downtown Salt Lake, as I said, you know, now with Sundance going on, and 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 we have such a diverse community in in, in Salt Lake City in, in Utah now. It's it wasn't that unusual. <laughs> What's the website of your association? People can look you up. It's flyingmusicians.org, 
and go to our website and you can find out about all that we do. We're a nationwide organization, actually international now. We have Canadian members and uh, I'm the Northwest Regional Ambassador. So we have ambassadors all over the country representing chunks, chunks of the country. And we, we organize hangar jams. We're represented at all the major aviation events like uh, Oshkosh, Sun and Fun, as well as the music events like NAM here. And, um, and we have a great scholarship program, which is incredible, where we can offer uh, flight training to young musicians in high school who, um, who are musicians that want to learn to fly. If I was a high school student now, I would have jumped at this scholarship opportunity. It would have been, I, I would have been so excited to do this. It's great. We, we partner with a local flight school in the, you have to be nominated by your band or high school um, band or orchestra director program and we partner with a local school, flight school, we pay all the flight training through your first solo, so it's called the Solo Scholarship. What's that around your neck, by the way? What's, what's, the, what's your uh, neck? Oh, actually, this is called, uh, this is actually a local Glasgow artist from my hometown in Scotland, Glasgow, and a jewelry designer, uh, called Mary's Magpie, but I, I love her work. And it's actually, the title of this piece is called Balance Me. So it looks to me like an angel. Is it supposed to be something in flight? It could be, maybe that's why it, it um, appealed to me, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. Uh, will you be playing at the on the show floor while you're here or will people be, uh, be able to hear you uh, in Hollywood? Unfortunately, I won't be playing um, at this show. I'm only here for a day. I have to fly back to Salt Lake tomorrow morning for an opera performance uh, back at Utah Opera in Salt Lake City. But go see the Salvi booth and my friend Sasha, who um, is also a Salvi artist like I am, he will be demoing the Delta Harp, which is a very, very cool electric harp um, on, on, uh, in their booth. So. If people in, are, are in Salt Lake or passing through Salt Lake, what's the orchestra or symphony that they would find you with? I am Principal Harp with the Utah Symphony. Where do they play? We play downtown at Abravanel Hall. And you can find us at utahsymphony.org. And we have a uh, year-round program downtown in Salt Lake and in the summer up at Deer Valley. So we're, we're pretty busy.